Hello everybody, this is Jeremy here at Hilt's Machine Works up here in Maine and um, I'm doing some work on a buggy engine today. This is my buggy, my personal project and every once in a while when I change the oil, um, this is an off-road buggy so it's not a road car, I change the oil more frequently, I check the valve adjustments more frequently and I still find a lot of people on the forums who are having a hard time with their valve adjustment on finding uh, cylinder number one to be a top dead center with uh, with it all ready to adjust the valve, start the process. So I want to do a quick video here on um, how to locate that and a talk about the Volkswagen distributors, the original German Bosch distributors, where they give you a really simple tool built in to find number one. So let's take a look. So I drained the oil out uh, last night. I took the buggy for a ride. And um, I like to get the engine nice and hot before I drain the oil. So I drained the oil, haven't put any new oil in it yet. I pulled the valve covers off last night because you need to do the valve adjustment cold. But we're not gonna show the whole procedure for valve adjustment right now. We're just gonna help you locate cylinder number one. So you can see here, this is cylinder number one back here. It is stamped on the tin work. And the distributor on this um, engine I have here is an 09. This has 87 millimeter slip-ins in it. So it's a little bit bigger than a factory 1600. And um, I do like on the off-road buggies to have the 09 on the road cars. A lot of times I wanted to have the vacuum advance, but I'm gonna show you right here. This is a dust cover. Let me pull the rotor off. And I have a Petronics kit in this buggy, but that doesn't matter on finding number one. If you can see very there's a very small mark here. That mark indicates cylinder number one. It's pointing towards the line. You also have the marks on most pulleys. It's hard to see here because of this exhaust, but I have the marks lined up with the split in the case there. So with the split, with the marks lined up with the, with the split in the case and the help of the number one mark on the distributor, I know that I'm at cylinder number one. But how can I really know for sure? What if I, I'm still nervous that maybe it isn't right? Well, the number one way you can check for absolute certainty is just grab a hold of the adjuster and I've got play on both the intake and the exhaust. So I know that those valves are closed. If the valves were open, one of these is gonna be tight because it's pushing the valve open. So let's check number two. I've got play here. I don't on the exhaust. Check number three. Number three, the intake valve is tight and the exhaust valve is tight. Number four, exhaust is loose, intake is tight. So on all of these, there's at least one, and on one case there's two that are tight. So if they're, if they're tight on number one, then you probably have number three selected, as we just showed. But since they're both loose at cylinder number one, I know for sure that my timing mark, I mean my uh, alignment mark in the distributor is there, the pulley is there, and the proof is in the pudding. I can feel the play. So if you follow that, you're never gonna have uh, the wrong cylinder up when you try to start your valve adjustment. Now what I will do when I do my valve adjustment, a guy showed me this a long time ago, and it just makes it so much easier is, if you do your valves here on number one, and then you turn the engine backwards so that the rotor turns to number two, then you don't have to keep bouncing back and forth between sides of the engine. Because remember, the firing order is one, four, three, two. So if you do that backwards, it's one, two, three, and four. So I hope that helped you, but don't turn this video off yet because I wanna show you how that mark is in almost every factory German Bosch distributor. Okay, I just grabbed three random distributors out of my box of distributors. And let's just check. I know for a fact you're gonna be there. You see the mark? That's number one. 
There's the mark, number one. There's your mark for number one. Let's go over to this engine, this old 40 horse I got on the engine stand. It also has it. So this is on essentially all that I've seen. German Bosch distributors will have the mark. There may, I don't know if there's any exceptions to it, but of all the ones that I pulled, I've always been able to find it. However, this is a type four that I am working on for a customer and they just dropped this off. This is not a German Bosch. And I didn't see when I looked in here, if there was any clear mark for cylinder number one. I don't believe there is. So if you're using an aftermarket non-German Bosch distributor, you'll have to just do your best to line it up, you know, follow the plug wire or whatever, get the rotor in a general location and then pop the valve covers and just check for sure. But if you have the German stuff, check for the mark. I hope this was easy for you and I hope it helped you out when you're doing your valve adjustments.